the most obvious question is what are your battle royal strategies? Uh, definitely not going over the top rope. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I got to see the ring today and it's actually pretty big. And so uh, the apron I'm talking about, the apron is huge. So there's like some space there to like kind of play around on. Like it's not like once you hit over the over the ropes, you're not going to just topple out. Like you actually got a moment to I think save yourself there, which I definitely plan on using. <laughs> Yeah, definitely 20 by 20, and I think they were saying the apron is a little bigger than the usual 20 by 20. So like the, the inside of the space is a little smaller, but the outside on the aprons is a little bigger. Yeah. Did you ever think this kind of thing was possible, like a new company on TNT, getting all these deals and you're going to be a part of it? Yeah, not at all. I never would have dreamed of anything like this, especially like you said, of also on TNT along with a new wrestling company. It's, it's serendipitous. It's too many things that like lined up in the, in the universe for this to happen. You took some time off. Was there ever a point during that seven years where you almost came back or you were like, should I do it before you actually did? There was a couple of times like that, that uh, my wife, especially when we first started dating and whatnot, um, she was really into me being a wrestler and she missed my long hair that I used to have. And so uh, she would always talk to me about like, oh, you should get back into it. And I'm like, ah, nah, like I gave that whole thing up and you know, I don't want to get back into it. And like, she would like pepper at it throughout our relationship here and there. Uh, and then it was just eventually, because uh, there was about two years there, I just never got to see the Bucks in person. We would all just still stay in touch through text. And I think that's what kind of did it, is just seeing them in person and just our love of wrestling and how like that whole night of obviously anytime we get together, it's just talking about wrestling. That kind of re-amped uh, me up a little bit, reinvigorated me, where I was like, all right, I'll, I'll entertain the idea of going back into wrestling again. And then like it just kind of snowballed from there. <laughs> How's this weekend been for your wife so far? And like, has she been busy like doing like uh, like attire and different things like that, gear and stuff? Yeah. As well? uh, so big emotional wreck yeah. <laughs> for her the entire weekend. We got into our hotel room and she broke into tears yeah. <laughs> just from how nice our hotel room is and how like AEW just treats everyone, top to bottom. Everyone on the roster has great hotel rooms. Like the ring crew has the same hotel rooms that I do, and kind of a thing. So that's really nice to see that. Um, uh, yeah, she's been doing gear for the last. I know for sure at least two months for this show alone, uh, just based on like a text that I sent from Kaz where he was requesting his gear. And I look back, I was like, that was two months ago you requested that. And like, we just got it done. Uh, she just got it done. I always take a little bit of credit now. <laughs> she just got it done like days before the show. Um, yeah, she's got a lot. Uh, she did the Young Bucks full set that they'll be coming out in. Um, my new, my gear she made new. Um, the SCU, their tights, and Kaz's jacket that'll be on tonight or on tomorrow. And Cody's, he's got two jackets actually. <laughs> yeah, he's got a jacket and a cape. <laughs> yeah, so she did all of that for the show. There's, um, she, everyone has great gear and stuff, but like she did, that's what, seven people I think that she did. Oh, and during that time too, there was two fans that requested to have tights made of like that are just exactly like the Young Bucks current looking ones that they have in all their promo shots and uh, they paid well enough that she did that too. So that's what was that, nine now, but in, within that two or two and a half month time frame that she knocked out. She has been a freaking workhorse that we are definitely gonna just take a moment after this weekend and just relax and not do anything. <laughs> yeah. Besides yourself, who would you say is the biggest threat in the Casino Battle Royale? Um, among the people that at least I know, I would say, like Joey Janela's a wild card. That guy is just insane. So like he's just unpredictable. So that's always a factor in something like that of like who the hell knows what he's gonna do. Um, and then I'd say also MJF. Uh, uh, guys just like you know sneaky could just pull something out of the hat anywhere, anytime. So I'll definitely keep my my eye on him. What's been the most surreal part of this experience so far, and why? Oh my god, one of them was just seeing the set and the ring and everything. That, uh, it was the same as All In, once I saw it, it's just like a punch to the gut of like how real this all is and how big of a scale this all is. Um, I, just the meet and greet I had today, uh, just from that one segment on Being the Elite where I made everyone uh, cry, <laughs> uh, everyone's coming up and congratulating me, so that's making it sink in of just how much of a reach Being the Elite has. Uh, of pretty much everyone here, uh, like 100% of people are either just yelling, Cutler, congrats, man, or like coming up to me and actually like shaking my hand and just congratulating me or just saying how moved they were on that one scene. I've had people come up to me and say they'd even know me before that and then that they still cried on that. So like that's pretty powerful when you're making people are like, who's this guy? Uh, like, right? <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> if, you, if you win the Battle Royale, you're going to face the winner of Kenny Omega and Chris Jericho to become champion. 
Who would you pick if it was up to you? You can choose your opponent of the two and why. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Lord. I, immediate answer, I want to go Jericho just because growing up uh, watching him and just being an absolute like fan for him and whatnot and just being like, if not now, when will I ever wrestle kind of a thing. And then I've always wanted to wrestle Kenny. Um, funny story of me and Nick uh, were big fans of him even before all like all of this. This was like 10 plus years ago that we saw a YouTube clip of him having this ridiculous match like on like uh, um, what is it like at a, a house that started in and then they break out and they go into the yard and then they break off and go into like some like construction site. And so we loved that match. It was so creative and just so funny that we kind of recreated it uh, at one of Nick's actual birthdays where he had like a bounce house and like they just had a big house so we kind of went and threw out like the, the different backyards they had and so uh, it was like our little nod to of like that was a great thing like let's kind of copy it or whatever and then like here we are decades later and they have a whole company with them and I'm getting hired with them and all that and so like just for that whole like full circle story of like dude like I didn't even know who you were and I liked you and then like now after everything that you've done of the insane matches he's gone through and like I'm like man I would love to try and just hang with him for a half an hour just take him the distance kind of a thing so um, I, that's another one of either way it wouldn't matter it would be a, like a heart paced match for me it would be huh. <laughs>